The Learnings from Thanksgiving 2020. All of us here at the Lemper Report and SupermarketGuru.com hope you and your families had a great Thanksgiving. Here's what we learned. People got on planes. People had larger Thanksgiving gatherings than what was advised or we thought. People spent more money buying things online, starting with Alibaba. And more people turned to food banks to feed their families. What I don't comprehend is the why. Watching the news programs showing crowded airports, crowded planes may be good for the airlines, but it's likely that we'll see a spike in COVID cases over the next couple of weeks. Was it worth it? I know we're all under pressure, psychologically as well as physically. We want to be friends. We want to be with family. We want to hug them. We want to laugh and sometimes cry together. We're constantly reminded of the turmoil in Washington, and many of us have just thrown up our hands and we've had enough. It's painful to watch the news, I know. But the reality is that now more than ever, as the COVID crisis escalates, we need to be stronger than we have been since March. Researchers at Northwestern University estimate that food insecurity rates have more than doubled and are now impacting as much as 23% of the U.S. households so far this year. The Brookings Institute reports that 14 million of our children aren't getting enough food to eat. Our food banks and Feeding America have many challenges. Not only did they think rethink the way they distribute food to be contactless and totally outside, They've seen donations from both supermarkets and CPG companies decline as both struggle to keep the grocery shelves stocked. They also have a people problem. Many volunteers at our food banks pre-COVID were retirees, those same people who are now being advised to stay home, to stay safe, due to their above average risk of contracting the virus. As we approach Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and New Year celebrations, Every indicator that I see points to the same situations we just witnessed over this past few days. Let's be smart. Cities, including here in Los Angeles, have resumed shutdowns for good reasons. The case rates are increasing, and no doubt we're all restless. It's time for us to be calm. It's time for us to care about our neighbors, our friends, and our families. The economy will be just fine if we stay home and be with our immediate families. When 9-11 occurred, we were all on our best behavior. And then as the months passed, we got lazy. and We started fighting about that overhead storage bin on planes once again. When the pandemic first broke out, we were on good behavior. We did stay home. We worked from home. We baked. Our kids studied at home. And once again, after a few months, we became restless and lazy, and we see the results on the nightly news. Let's be strong. And over the next few weeks, especially during the holidays, let's celebrate our lives, what we have, and not have a repeat of what should have been a holiday celebrating giving thanks. And instead, being a holiday, where we decided to break all the rules.